Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Oh Hello Living. Today I'm sharing with you my meal planning slash grocery traveler's notebook. I've been using this for about a month or so now and I've really been enjoying it. And I've added quite a few cool things in here to make meal planning and grocery shopping a whole lot easier for me. So I thought I'd just flip through it today and show you guys what I have inside. This is an A5 Oh Hello Traveler's Notebook in the Monstera design. And let's just dive into it, shall we? So over in this pocket, I have any coupons or gift certificates. Like we are doing a lot of meal box services. So I have those like little coupons you get in the mail for those. Then I also have my like Costco card and any other store cards. We don't have a lot of store cards. We use our phone number for a lot of them. But if I have any, I'm gonna put them in here. So that way it encourages me to take this with me so I make sure I have my store cards and then also my lists and everything. But it also keeps everything in one place. So the first notebook is a meal planner insert. These are brand new for Oh Hello this month and I'm obsessed, I'm so obsessed by it. So I think I'll just show you guys the like first week that I did. So Alex is doing a pretty intensive diet. He's already down 23 pounds, which is super amazing, but I am a fairly picky eater. So when he is doing this diet, we tend to eat different things. We will do like the same dinners every once in a while, like all these dinners are the same, but for lunches and breakfast and such, we do different things. So I just split up the week view into sections for Alex and me, so we can clearly see who's eating what when. So I set up my meal planner and then on the right side is the grocery list and it's broken up into categories, which I find makes shopping so much easier. Before, when I just had like a basic list, I would forget something in like the dairy section and then have to go all the way back there. So this helps to group things together based on where they are in the store and makes my life so much easier. So I've been using it for a few weeks on and off. Sometimes it doesn't go as planned. Like down here, we had friends and stuff over, so it was kind of hard to keep track of everything. But I love being able to see my meal plan next to my grocery list. It makes things so much easier in the store. And then I just have a pen loop over here so I can cross everything off as I go along. And this sits really nicely in the like kid area of a grocery cart. You can kind of just like prop it open in there and it's really easy to see. So for this week, for example, we are doing the Chicago Planner Conference. So I just block this off. We aren't taking meal planning super seriously. Like I said, Alex is on a diet, so he's a bit more structured with his meals. But when it comes to like the Chicago Planner Conference, we'll be eating out there or doing things there. So we don't really have to plan that out super much. On to the next insert, I've repurposed a project tracker that I used for something else for a price comparison sheet. So we shop at four different stores and I really like to know what the prices are on popular things we like to buy at each store. So I just started doing this a couple of days ago, so I only have one thing in here. Alex really likes the Chobani yogurt drinks, and at Meijer, they're 20 cents cheaper than at Family Fair, and then they also don't have them at Aldi or Costco. So this is super helpful when I'm shopping. If I can't remember what the price is at another store, I can look here and see, oh, it's usually this price here, but if it's on sale and a better deal, then I'll pick it up there. So I'm looking forward to filling this out with more things that we tend to purchase on a regular basis. So when I'm out and about, I don't have to like rack my brain trying to remember which place has the best deal. And that way I can make my list dependent on what we need and where it's most affordable. So if most things are at Aldi and they're more affordable, then I'll just go there rather than taking extra trips or anything. So I think I'm just going to list all the products. I'm not gonna like split them up based on category or anything. That way I can just easily look here and see where the best deal is. The next notebook I have is just a lined Erin Condren Jot Your Thought notebook. Just in case when I'm out and about, I have an idea or need to write down anything. I wanna make sure I have a notebook with me, literally just in case. So this one is blank. I haven't used it yet, but it's here if I need it. The last notebook is the dinner party planner. And I have this slipped in the back pocket of the, the notebook. So it's just slipped back in here. And we do a lot of dinner parties. So I wanted to have something that I could plan out the meals and the event while still being next to my meal planner and my price list and everything. So I use this briefly for my tiki party that I threw for Alex last weekend. So it's not like super filled out and I didn't do the cooking schedule. I just have a little sticky note of all the things that we were gonna make and I just made it work for me. 
But if I did an actual dinner party, I think this would be way more helpful because then I can write like what other people are bringing down here and really break out my cooking schedule. Like for Thanksgiving, I think this would be so helpful because things have different cooking times and you need to share the oven with different food items that this um, insert would be super helpful for that. And like I said, Alex and I do a lot of dinner parties. We do about one a month. So having this insert can make it really easy even in the future to flip back and see what I've done for different parties. And that way I can know, oh, that worked really well. It took this long or whatever. Or if someone's coming to the party and I know they're allergic to something, I can look back here and see what we have done in the past and make sure that the future parties and everything are done well. So there you go. That is everything in my meal planning slash grocery shopping slash party planning notebook. I really like having this all in one place. I don't do this all the time. Like I don't need this notebook with me constantly. I tend to do my meal planning on Sundays and then go shopping that day or maybe shopping on a Monday. And so I only take this with me when I need it. And I really like having it separate from my main planner. That way it's not being bulked up by things I only use once a week. And that everything's in one spot that I can leave this out on the counter in the kitchen so we can look at our meal planning schedule. And it's also really helpful for the meal services. We do about three or four different ones at the same time. And I just pick meals that I'm interested in for the week. So it's really nice to see where the boxes are coming from and what meals we're having so I can plan them out to make sure we're not over buying boxes or under buying boxes and definitely with all the travel that we do I need to know when they're coming in and whatnot so this has been so helpful and has made things so much easier for me I've never been good at meal planning it's just seemed too cumbersome but having this thing has just made it so easy to know exactly where everything is and I find myself not forgetting things at the grocery store. I love it. I'm a huge fan. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know how you meal plan and how you track all of this stuff in your planner. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Be sure to subscribe so you see more videos from me every single week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.